everybody and welcome back to Angela Nago TV and we are here eating our burgers from our 100 days of smash burger which is me using my smash pass which entitles me to 100 entrees for 100 days and we are currently so it's a challenge to be able to actually use every single day because I paid for it so why not so this is day 34 and day 35 they were closed yesterday because of the weather but they let us get to today so and yay, my job is to burger. smash the burgers yeah so he has so, the well, anytime you see me on camera there's a reason behind that I want to eat the burgers Okay, so, so let's go with what we have here. I have, close to you. Sorry about all the paper rustling. I have my favorite mushroom burger. I love mushrooms. It's a little slidey slide. See, normally so, I ask them to put it in the box, so don't bite it yet, because we have to do the I'm thumbnail. Not but I'm definitely oh, really hungry. look at how small it is. No, they okay. actually made it bigger. They asked me if it was, if I wanted a large or small. And that's large? That looks so tiny. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, anyway, That's all right. Thumbnail. You want to hold it? Okay. Good. All right. All right. I have the triple double, double patty, triple slices of cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, all that good stuff. He has the truffle Swiss burger again. I told you guys that was his favorite. He had the same thing the other day. Yep. So let's bless the food. Go ahead. Lord, thank you for this time. Thank you for this food. We pray that you're blessed and blessing hands. I made it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, and today we are going to talk about dating and marriage. So we're going to eat a little bit first, though. Please, yeah. No. Mm. Oh. Mm. I get my ketchup going. Wow. Get my ketchup going. Mm. Wow. That is good. I'm still dressing mine. So you give you a lot of mushrooms in them? They gave me a lot of mushrooms. Is that double patties or just the patties larger? They made it larger. Okay. I guess they don't make the bread, see? Oh, so the patty is. Mm -hmm. I made the patty larger. Here we go. Take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, nothing. I'm so hungry. I have not eaten since. I didn't really eat lunch today. Did you eat lunch? Wait, did I? No. I didn't eat lunch. I had breakfast. You'll be done in like four, five bites. Hungry. Mm -hmm. And we have some ribs in the oven. Mm -hmm. This is really good. This is mm -hmm. probably the best burger they have. We got the truffle mayo put right on it. Mmm. Or did you get it on the side? Mm. I forgot oh, yeah. about that. Truffle mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Totally forgot. Do you have something to put it on? I guess you can just, don't put too much. It's really strong. That's good. Mm-hmm. There you go. You gotta give them time to take a bite. <laughs> Look at all my onions. I love onions. Oh, truffle mayo. These aren't too, aren't too stinky. Truffle mayo makes a difference. Mm-hmm. Brings out the truffles. So mushrooms. Makes the mushrooms kick. More mushroomy. This is what truffles do. Wow. But I just think when I had it before on the burger, the truffle mayonnaise taste just made me like, so I feel nauseous. Mm -hmm. That's a function. That's a good flavor. I really, really want some Taco Bell. Rolled chicken tacos. So easy to dip, so hard to put down. Rolled chicken tacos are back with your choice of dips only at Taco Bell. I text him while he was out getting, I want Indian food, I want Taco Bell. What else did I say? Cravings. Just because I was so hungry. Oh. So, because I was watching somebody eat with Q eat Indian food. And then everybody's been trying the Taco Bell new rolled chicken tacos. I'm about to smash this so one. Good. Mm -hmm. It's the last piece. 
Yeah, you're quick. Oh, mine was bigger than yours. Bro, you need help? <laughs> you want a bite? Mm-hmm. That's a good burger. Mm -hmm. I could eat that mushroom burger every day. Mushroom Swiss. Uh -oh. Right, giant bite. Are you done? <laughs> Give it back. Are the ribs almost done? Did you check them? Mm -mm. Is that yours? I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll have my onion back. When did you put that in? Was that cheese from my burger? You remember you switched plates? I know, but... from your burger. Oh. It tastes different. That's why I was wondering. So, while I'm still eating, I'm going to give you... I think a big marriage tip is... Chances are you and your spouse are, have different hobbies, likes, dislikes... Um, and I think what a big tip is to get into the other, try at least once in a while to do something that your spouse likes to do, even though it's not something that you would typically do, but get into her space in that way, because marriage is, you need more than just love. You also need understanding. And so understanding, if you understand your partner better and entering her into her his or her space you have a tendency to love him or her more because you understand them mm -hmm. right so so i think a big tip is getting is to do things that so what something that you do that i'm interested in right now <laughs> <laughs> I'm African. Eat on camera. It's mukbang time. Hey, it's mukbang time. And this is a big example of something I know you like to do. Mm -hmm. That I'm like, okay, let me get into her space. Not just because I want to eat. Well, mm -hmm. part of it is I want to eat. But the other part <laughs> is, <laughs> is to get to understand you more and why and get into your space more. And even entertaining some of the videos you watch. Mm -hmm. That's entering into your space and seeing why she likes them. Now I like the videos, you know, Mark Weens and the food. I didn't watch that stuff a lot mm -hmm. until we started, you started watching, and then I started to get into And I've your been space. obsessed with like food network and food and food and food and eating and eating and travel and eating while you travel. Travel, I like. The eating part. Eating while you travel. And watching people eat part is. Still working on that. I was surprised too. Like, I didn't realize though that I kind of liked the whole mukbang, or even I didn't know what it was. But when we used to watch, I know this is weird, but we used to watch, or still do, watch 600 Pound Life, me and my daughter Sydney. And one of the best parts that we liked about watching it was watching them eat. I love the way it all tastes. We're like, oh, that looks so good. Oh, my goodness. We would just drool over the food. And watching we would just somebody else's bro. Like watching them eat. Then I discovered, I think it was, who was my first? Was it Honey? Honey Eats. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's kind of, she was our segue into the eating on Mukbang. camera world, the mukbang world. And then it was like, and then I think after Honey, then it was Be Love's Life. What's up, my Be Love? Now, mind you. Who's our favorite? <laughs> They smack their food when they eat, mm -hmm. and people and actually smacking. like that. Mm -hmm. So that I can't. Not everybody. Yeah, that's but acquired. I don't know. I just it's like the satisfaction of like watching somebody finish a meal, and then you're like watching them eating crispy fried chicken and like just stuff, and you're like, oh. So I don't know. It's like food voyeurism. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. What is your tip? For marriage um oh well first the thing that i do that he likes hold on is um trying to tennis watch tennis talk about tennis not a lot i know i don't watch it a lot i think it's tennis 
Yeah, tennis is um I like a, listen to you talk about tennis. I sometimes watch it. I played with you a long time yep, ago. You do play. You play oh. more than you watch. Right. Put and football. Way. Sometimes. Football, yeah, I guess football is not really my thing. I watch right. it once in a while. I don't really like tennis. I'll definitely sit up and get up early and watch a whole match. But right. football. But no. most of the stuff that you like to do, I mean, we don't have a whole lot of stuff we like separately. No. Like a lot of, we like a lot of the same things. So it's not quite the same. But anyway, so my tip for marriage, um, I would probably say. Similar to what you say, compromise and being patient with your spouse. So my hubby has taught me how to be more patient because we're like polar opposites. Our personalities are like, he's like super calm and chill and gracious. And I'm more like a, you know, outgoing, louder, not as gracious, but he teaches me patience. So I think... Um, learning from your spouse. So you kind of have personality traits and there are some things that you can learn to be more like him and he can learn to be more like you, you know, those good traits. So right. you've definitely taught me to be And being patient. open to that. Thank mm -hmm. you. Being open to that. And just more kind. So my, in terms of my patience, I had to challenge myself because I think that it's, well, I would say my patience is as a result of not wanting conflict. So I'll run from conflict and that, that translates into patience. But needless to say, um, I like peace in my to. home. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so. And sometimes though, like people, I was reading something the other day and some lady said that she was married for a long time, 20 some odd years, 30 some odd, or maybe 31, 32 years. And she said that her and her husband never fought Ever. That's not healthy. And that's not healthy to me. Because mm -mm. it's like either you're both robots or you're not really expressing yourself. Like, you know, I'm thinking like, how can you go 30 some odd years without ever having a disagreement? It doesn't have to be like a screaming match, but, you know, unless you're like literally clones of each other. I don't see how that's possible. To a degree, it is healthy in a relationship because it allows one, um, the spouses to express themselves because a lot of times if you don't you're in a relationship and you can't speak your mind and mm -hmm. and express yourself it's very difficult to grow in a relationship so that's that part is healthy and also the part of reconciliation is important you know it's one thing to have conflict but just to keep it open and not reconcile is not mm -hmm. good but the opportunity for reconciliation is good if you know what i mean mm -hmm. right to make it up Make it up. Right. Make it up. Well, I think that's good. Next time, I'll feature you in my video. We'll continue with more. Oh, thank you for the future. I hope we get paid. In the it. future, I will allow you to share some more. Thank but you. Anyway, and if anyone's wondering, we have been married for 21 years. 21 and a half. It's almost a half, half now. Years. Mm -hmm. And we were dating for three years before we got married. And we have four kiddos, 18, 17, 10, and 7. So that's it. All right, you guys, so that is it for day 34 and 35. Thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. <laughs> we will see you, you tomorrow for, for day 36. And don't forget, before you finish this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't ever miss a video, and feel free to share. I'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 You press the stop button.